Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Ninkondi Prime. Now, since this is a primed weapon, the only way to get it is to assemble it from its primed parts, which you can either get yourself by opening specific relics or by buying the parts from other players. But since relics are rotated in and out of the game quite frequently, I will simply leave a link to the official Ninkondi Prime Wikipedia website in the video description so you can check it out and see which relics you want to go for. The Ninkondi Prime are Master Rank 14 nunchucks, and they do primarily electricity damage but still have a decent amount of slash and impact as well. They sport a very solid 22% crit chance with an above average 24 times crit multiplier and very high 36% status chance and they're also decently fast with a base attack speed of 1 and they have odd range of 2.31. Now while these are a pretty substantial upgrade of the standard Ninkondi, sporting better crit, status and damage, they are fairly different because the original Ninkondi didn't do any puncture or slash. So you actually end up doing less impact on electricity than on the standard version. Now when it comes to the build, they're kind of like two things you can do. You can either embrace the electricity with this setup right here where we have Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge with one of them being unranked and Shocking Touch. This gives you roughly about a 2 to 1 ratio of electricity and viral. You then support that with Condition Overload for damage, Weeping Wounds for status, Berserker Fury for attack speed, Blood Rush for crit chance and Organ Chatter for crit damage. This does really good damage in the normal game but it starts to lose a lot of effectiveness as you go deeper into Steel Path because electricity just isn't all that great against armored units. So what it can do instead is run both Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge unranked and then replace Shocking Touch with Buskill. This will make the weapon into sort of a hybrid where you're doing damage with both Slash and Electricity. Now while this helps with the armor problem, it also lowers your AoE damage because you don't get as many electricity procs so the discharges are weaker so you're effectively trading AoE for a bit more single target. However, neither of these two setups feel particularly good to play because nunchucks need extra range and with these setups we're not able to squeeze it in. Unless you're willing to get attack speed somewhere else, because what you can do and what I do with the Ninkondi Prime is I actually don't run Berserker Fury and I run Prime Reach instead. But in order for this to work you need to get attack speed somewhere else. I use Warcry and Arcane Strike on my Warframe. You basically need to tailor your setup to the Ninkondi Prime. You need to figure out combo sustain either via a dexterity arcane or focus and you need to get some attack speed from your frame. Though another somewhat simpler way to do this would be to simply use a Riven with two desirable stats. So something like attack speed and either electricity or slash. And this is why I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Ninkondi unless you're willing to invest into it. Because it's a very fun and strong weapon once you add all the additional bits and bobs onto it, but on its own it's a bit of a mess that doesn't have enough mod space. So you're gonna have to decide for yourself on this one. I personally think it's worth the extra steps. But anyway, that's it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.